everyone, welcome back to the Coos Art Museum where we bring the art to your home. As you guys can see, my workstation is a little bit cluttered. I've got all sorts of art supplies because today I wanna to talk to you guys about having fun and playing around with mixed media. So mixed media is when you take all sorts of different art supplies and you put them all together. In past videos, we've done just talking about watercolor, or drawing a picture, we've used markers, but today we're just gonna find what kind of art supplies we have around the house and see what we can create. The fantastic part about this project is that each one of us is going to have a different looking piece because we all have different types of art supplies. So take a minute, pause the video, go and gather up whatever art supplies you wanna use, and let's get started. The subject that we're going to be creating art around is beetles. While I'm not the biggest bug fan out there, if you take a really close look at some of the insects around us, you'll find they're really, really gorgeous. They have amazing patterns and designs and colors, even just the simple ladybug. For this, I'm going to be using a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what type of paper you use. This is all about playing and experimenting with art supplies. It doesn't matter if you have white paper or black paper, big paper or tiny paper. Just have fun creating. Now that you have your paper, let's get in the basic shape design that we need for our bugs. So for this one, I'm gonna start off my shape design using watercolors. I would recommend starting off with a lighter color for your beetle, and then we can continue to add darker colors to that. And I'm gonna create an ovaly shape. The color I'm using is a yellow that I've mixed with a little bit of green to give kind of an olive look to my colors. That's the fun thing about colors is that you can mix them up and get lots of different colors. I'm gonna rinse my brush off, dry it off. So I have an oval shape for the body and then I'm gonna add a little half circle shape right up here for the top for the head. And for that one I'm going to use, a, I think, red. We're going for an artistic looking beetle. So we're gonna let the colors and art supplies kind of mix however they want. In fact, I'm just gonna dab off a little bit of that. And there is my basic beetle shape. While this is drying, I'm gonna work on the background. So for that, I have some chalk pastels here. And you can choose any color you want. I think I'm going to use this green. Now, something you might realize is some of my colors are broken. It doesn't matter if these get broken because the broken bits are just as much fun as the big bits. But I'm going to create a circle shape all the way around. And I'm not gonna worry about filling in all the white gaps. Just put some nice chalk there because the fun thing with chalk is getting your fingers dirty. See, they're already dirty. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna start smearing this chalk around. You need to take a little wet towel or napkin. I have a little tissue and clean up your fingers a little bit. So now that we have the background and we have our beetle shape, now we get to start designing out our beetle. So let's choose another art supply. Remember, you can choose whatever you want. If you have a marker, you can use a marker. I'm gonna use, oh, this is scary. I'm gonna use some ink. Now remember, ink is really messy, so I have it on a little messy mat so that if it spills or drips, it doesn't get onto my table. So I'll take my brush and I'm gonna dip it into the ink. You could use watercolor for this part. And I'm gonna outline my beetle. Remember, if you wanna share your art creations with us here at the museum, you can use the hashtag CamArtAtHome on social media, and that way we can find the fun art that you are creating. So there I've outlined my beetle shape and my beetle head. And now we're gonna go into some of the detail here. So right at the top part here, I'm gonna section off a little part off there, this is the beginning of his wings. And then right in the middle, I'm gonna come down with a line right down the middle. And this is where you can kind of get creative and decide how you want 
your beetle designed to look. I'm just going to flare that out at the end to kind of round off his wing shapes. All right, it's starting to look a little bit like a bug, but let's add in some legs. So beetles have six legs, so we're going to put two up here at the front. So we're going to put a line here and a line here, and then we'll have another one halfway down. So I'll put a line there and a line there, and then another two at the very end here, right there and right there. So there's our beetle's legs. If you want to, you can add a little extra detail. Sometimes they have a little, little bends in their legs there. Depending on what type of beetle you have, their legs look a little bit different. And this could be your very own one-of-a-kind beetle. So another thing our bug beetle needs is his antennae. So I'm going to come out here with a line up and over here with a line up. Kind of thicken out the ends a little bit. And then some of my reference pictures show that they have, I don't know if that's part of their mouth or what, but I'm going to add that right in there. And I'm going to put in his eyes. A little dome there on that side and a little dome on that side. Looking very beetle-ish. All right. I think I'm done with my ink, so I'm going to clean out my paintbrush. You always want to take good care of your art supplies. So if you're using markers, make sure that you are putting the lids back on. If you're using a paintbrush, that you're cleaning that up. And especially if you're using something like ink, you put that lid right back on top, closing up your paints and inks. Now comes the super, super fun part where we get to decorate our beetle. We have the design down, but now we get to add all the fun decorations. So again, markers, crayons, colored pencils, gel pens, paints. I have this bottle of metallic paint that I bought a long time ago. In fact, just shake it up, get it all activated. I haven't used this in years. This is a great time to pull out those old art supplies that you never use anymore. Open that up. There's a little bit left in there, but it makes a really nice metallic shine. And a lot of beetles have a nice metallic look to their to their wings. I'm going to give him some stripes. I'm going to bring down a stripe here and give him a stripe over here. Do the same thing over here. Oh, that's a great looking beetle. I think I'm even going to color in the top part here to kind of make it match. Maybe I'll just give it a little stripe of that yellow color right in the middle. I'm going to rinse my brush off, get it nice and clean, and put the lid back on here. If you have something that has glitter in it, it's going to look so cool when you get it out into the sunshine. I think the last thing I want to do with this beetle is add a border around my picture. Putting your picture in a frame or a mat can really make it look finished. Maybe you don't have a frame or the ability to mat your pictures, well you can paint one on there. So let's take another color. I'm going to use, I'm going to try this red. This is another art supply I've had sitting in my, in my art box. Nice red paint here. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just going to put in a big square all around my beetle. I know there's all kinds of artists watching these videos and again I encourage you if you're a brand new artist to be brave and show us what you're doing. But also if you are a seasoned artist, maybe you've been doing things like this for a long time Sharing what you are creating and working on can really help encourage newer artists. Give us some fun ideas on what things you do to create. While we're stuck at home, being safe, we as an art community can still share and encourage one another. This was the first one I did, so you can see the more you practice, the better you get. I think there's a lot more detail in this one, but this one I use that kind of metallic color on my beetle. This one I think is one of my favorites because I did it on black paper and so it's all very shiny. I used some gel pens and some metallic pens to kind of give it a nice shine. Whether you're creating beetles or other kinds of bugs, I can't wait to see what you are all creating. 
So from everyone here at the Coos Art Museum, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you in the next art video. But until then, stay safe, wash your hands, and keep being creative. Bye-bye.